Good morning guys, welcome back to another video with me. If you're new, my name is Amy and I have been on a week-long caravan holiday where I've been eating the starch solution um, and low calorie density style. So it's been such a lovely week, but it's also really nice to be back at home. Uh, we have zero food at all. We're about to do a massive, mega, gigantic shop and I'm so excited. But I want to show you my breakfast that I quickly threw together. This is, basically we had like two apples and a banana. Um, so I put threw it into a bowl with some frozen fruit, frozen berries, um, and some yogurt and some flax on the top as well. So very, very simple, really yummy, loads of bulk, low calorie density stuff. I would have some veggies, but I haven't got any. Uh, mm, 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 mm. This always feels like such a deluxe, like pudding or something. Mm. Anyway, I'm sorry I haven't been able to film properly whilst I was away. There was zero signal whatsoever. Um, so it wasn't a matter of filming. I just couldn't um, edit it and upload it and stuff. It wasn't possible. I thought I would just smudge it into one big, gigantic week of eating. Um, anyway, today's going to be probably a chill day. We're just at home, poodling around. We've been up for ages. It's about 10.30 already. Um, but I want to show you what we kind of end up eating today. At lunch, I haven't got a clue. But for dinner, we are making mac and cheese. And I'm very, very excited about it. We're kind of doing almost like a budget week. So I'm trying to keep the meals quite cheap and quite basic. Um... Probably going to be getting some frozen veg and stuff just to kind of offset quite a busy holiday where there was a bit more spending happening. Um, so I'll kind of show you how I do that the next week or so. Um, but yeah, I have had to escape up here because my family are absolutely crazy. I've got the washing machine on. I've got the dishwasher on. The kids are running around naked. And it's like, ah, it's a bit of a crazy morning. But anyway, I will. Uh, I'll give you a little grocery haul when we get back. Show you what I bought, how much it is. Hopefully, hopefully it's cheaper than usual. <laughs> you just never know, do you? Uh, and then, and then yeah, we'll dive into some more good food. So I want to add a little crunch to my breakfast. So I usually do granola, but I don't have the time or the energy to do that. But I thought I'd crumble a rice cake on the top and see what that is like. As long as my babies don't eat it all. Okay, let's give this a try. Mm. Oh. oh, that is very nice. Sorry about the noise. Mm -mm -mm. It's changed. So we're back from our shopping trip and I want to show you everything I've got, but it's very noisy in the kitchen, so I'm so sorry. But I've got a mountain of washing that we need to get through and so the washing machine is basically going to be on all day long. So anyway, this is what I've got. Let's get into it. We went to two different places. Uh, we're trying out going back to our farm shop. If you guys um, have been around since I went to my farm shop months and months ago, let me know down below. But basically, um, it's a really cute little place near us and they do have the best strawberries in the summertime. So we stopped off and got these yummy strawberries four oranges and I found these persimmons that are just like the perfect amount of ripeness and uh, basically I'm going to have that for lunch with some other stuff. Um, we've got loads of mushrooms, we've got some tomatoes, we've got five onions, a pepper, uh, three broccolis, some sweet potatoes, two cauliflowers and a big fat cabbage. That's everything we've got from the farm shop. Then the other stuff is all from Morrison's. Um, uh, there's nothing I can do about the plastic guys. I know it's terrible. But in Morrison's, you know, in, in the UK, it's just really tricky going shopping. Uh, everything is just plasticky, unfortunately. So, right, what did we get? I got two packs of Pink Lady Apples. They are everyone's favourites around here. I got loads and loads of courgettes, like, I don't know, eight courgettes. Two packs of organic carrots. I just feel like organic carrots are so much nicer than regular carrots. They just taste super sweet and just really yummy. Um, avocados for the babies mainly, but for me sometimes. Um, I've got oat and linseed bread mix because James really wants to make some bread. Uh, he wants to do that as a nice activity with the kids tomorrow. So we've just got a nice little bread mix. Let's see how that turns out. Let's see if he even does it, shall we? Um, I've got three gigantic cucumbers, large ones, and I thought that could keep us going all week. Two things of baking potatoes. I got a massive, massive bag of spinach. Then I loaded up on loads of frozen stuff. Um, so we've got two packs of this cauliflower and broccoli floret mix. 
And I also got some button sprouts, which I thought would be fun because I didn't find any sprouts and I really fancied some. And just a thing of uh, cauliflower. Now this, I wanted to use this to add to sweet stuff, uh, like smoothies and just like, in case I fancy like an iced thick coffee thing, I thought that could really like bulk it out um, or just like a cake or something, just whatever. I just thought that could be really fun to add to stuff because um, it really has no flavor. And if you're wanting to bulk something out, cauliflower is fantastic also frozen courgette is meant to be fantastic never tried that yet but i need to um, then got some frozen raspberries and some frozen mango as well what else did i get okay i got some coriander uh for just general things and i will show you a meal plan in a little bit um i got some quinoa I've also got four tins of plum tomatoes, thanks to the person who told me that the plum tomatoes are the nicer ones, whereas chopped tomatoes are all like the discarded bits, so thanks so much. Um, I've got two tofus, and I've got some passata, one with basil, and one with onion and garlic. Uh, that is going to be for some gnocchi later. Got some macaroni, got some whole wheat fusilli, then I've got some soy milk, James... Uh, got loads of almond milk because he loves to drink that and we also bought a few other bits for example James got some scotch and we got a big fat thing of washing powder because we really needed some. Now that we've put all the shopping away it is lunchtime. so I have got some leftover soup so the kiddies are eating that they also polished off all the strawberries and Romy's had a persimmon as well. I'm going to do myself a light fresh salad because I'm really in the mood for it and these leafies are a few days old now and we need to use these up so i'm also cooking up some sweet corn um which we had left over from our trip as well so i'm not quite sure exactly what kind of medley i'm going to do but we're going to do tomatoes we're going to do this we're going to do cucumber and then a really nice dressing i don't have any beans cooked so no beans i might do some i don't really have anything to go in it let me go figure that out okay so i've gone scrounging in the fridge i found some in the fridge and freezer i found some edamame Carrots, cucumber, tomato, and I'm gonna do myself a nice, simple tahini, lemony, garlicky dressing. But I want these to be a little bit crispy, so I'm gonna whack them in the air fryer for like five minutes. Also gonna stick some of this lovely coriander in here because we've got loads more than we're gonna need for tomorrow, and then add a lovely element of flavor. Okay, let's pile this up. So, coriander. Actually, we want to dress the leaves first, don't we? So let's do the dressing now. So it's a very quick and simple dressing. A ton of lemon juice. A tablespoon of my favorite, very runny tahini. Garlic, salt and onion powder. I've actually never put onion powder in here before, but I thought I'd give it a whirl. Yes, sweet. I think I'm actually going to have to blend this up because I want it to be super creamy. Oh man, that's it's very strong, it's very lemony. I might need to counterbalance it with some oh, tahini, oh my god. Right, going in with another tahini to even out the texture. Okay, there we go. That's a better consistency. I would add some chickpeas in to make it much thicker, but I don't have any. Right. Mm, yeah, probably won't need all of this. It's very, very strong. So I'll go in with about, go with about half. Okay, now that we've dressed the salad in with tomatoes, in with cucumber. If you liked red onion, you could go in with that. I do not like raw red onion. It is a crime against humanity in my eyes. Um, I wanted a carrot, but I wanted it to be crunchy. Um, and all my edamame. Here we go, some lovely crunchy edamame on the top. Give it a nice little kind of crouton vibe. There we go. I also really want to eat one of these persimmons because they look darn delicious. Remember, food does not have to make sense. You can just eat whatever food you fancy in the moment. And two delicious, yummy sweet corns. 
So there you go. Look at that gigantic, low calorie density, but extremely delicious and filling feast. I have obviously thought about my low calorie density, non-starchy veggies here. I've got some fruit for that sweetness. I've got my starches in the form of the sweet corn and my edamame. Edamame is also a lovely protein. And I've got my healthy fats with my tahini. So it's a really good all rounder, very fresh and vibrant. And when it's a summer, oh, poof, when it's a summery day, I do really love fresh and vibrant things. Um, not so much in the winter. I tend to eat a lot of cooked veggies in the winter. And I do still in the summertime, but in the summer I do enjoy a lot of fresh goodness. Let's have a little taste, shall we? I love the crunch. Mm. Oh my god, that is yummy. Mm. I love the dressing. Mm. If you guys want something lemony and zingy, which is my favourite, great dressing. Mm -mm -mm. We have been viciously scrubbing that car. And it's now nice and clean. <laughs> the kids are playing in the garden. It's four o'clock. I am getting a little bit hungry. Ronnie's been feeding a lot today. Nothing I can do about it. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to make myself a really quick little, I'm going to call it like a chocolate smoothie shake thing. But I'm going to put some cauliflower in. Never really tried it like this, I don't think. Um, so I don't know why I've got my sunglasses on. So let's do this together. <laughs> Anyone else get the uh, weird songs of Instagram or something stuck in their head and then just can't like doodly do, can't stop singing it. Okay, these are my ingredients. So I'm going in with some cauliflower. This is obviously going to give me lots of a nice bulk in this uh, smoothie, but it's also going to act as my ice and really cool things down. It's going to be like a nice kind of slushy. So I don't want to overdo it on the cauliflower though because I don't want it to be too cauliflowery. So I'm thinking like. Half a cup of cauliflower, oh god, oh, plus an extra one. I'm going in with some trusty carob powder. You could obviously do cocoa if you fancied it. I'm going in with one, two, there we go. We're also going to do some vanilla as always, makes everything taste better. I wanted this peanut buttery, I'm a peanut buttery girl, so we're going in with some PB2. We're just going to do one tablespoon. Now, I don't know if I'm going to need some banana in here. I'm going to make it without and then see if it needs it. And I'm going to go in with some almond milk, probably like, I don't know, a cup or so. There we go. Okay, now let's see what this turns into, shall we? Okay, I don't know why I'm feeling a little bit scared about this because I just, I've never had a cauliflower smoothie before. Oh. oh, okay. That is quite nice, actually. Mm, that is quite nice. However, I realise I actually do want it to be more filling. So I am going to add banana. It's also going to add loads of sweetness because I managed to pick up super, super ripe bananas, which I'm, oh God, which I'm thrilled about. Oh no, it's splattered everywhere. Oh, muffins. Let me know at home if you guys are messy, messy in the kitchen like me, because uh, no matter what I do, I can't help but make a mess. Okay, I'm gonna see if there's ice in there as well, because I want it to be a bit more icy. Okay, now it's like super sweet. I thought I'd go in with some spinach, just to give me some extra greenery. It's gonna make it look a little bit less pretty, but that's okay. There we go. Obviously, if you wanted to date this, you certainly could, but the banana is plenty sweet for me. And I'm just gonna chuck this ice in. See how when you're making a smoothie kind of snack thing, or just a smoothie in general, you can also think about loads of fun, creative ways of getting in those extra veggies. You can go spinach, you can go kale, courgette, cauliflower, you can add carrots in there, whatever you fancy, just add some extra veggies in. Or, you know, loads of fruit, loads of fruit does the trick too. I turned into a very thick green monster, but it looks horrible. But it tastes really yummy. So although we do eat with our eyes, food does not always have to look super pretty in order to be very tasty and also very healthy. Mm. Anyway, I'm going to go and be outside in the sun with my babies. While I sip on this and they, yes, they will probably steal some. Is that nice, Romy? 
Oh my gosh, she's really going for it. I want you can both have it, don't worry, babies. See, fighting over my smoothie. What do you think of the smoothie? Good? Mm. You know there's a hidden special vegetable in here as well. It's really yummy. Can you guess what it is? Spinach. Uh, sorry, two hidden vegetables. Well, spinach isn't really hidden because it's very green. But there's a hidden veggie. A special veggie in here. No, good guess. Shall I tell you, Abe? It's going to surprise you. But it's really yummy, remember? Remember how yummy it is? Cauliflower. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> oh, go for it, babies. <laughs> yes, you are going to have some more. Don't worry, Roms. One more. A change of outfit because it was getting super hot outside. So we are going to be making mac and cheese this evening. And I want to use a similar technique to my um, mozzarella that I made in my, one of my last videos. Uh, so we're going to go in with rice, which I've already cooked. I had a tiny bit of rice left in uh, in the packet, so I've just cooked up. And we're going to be doing some potatoes as well, because that is the perfect combination. Uh, yeah, so the babies yeah. are going to help me, and we're going to make loads of this cheesy sauce because it was darn delicious. Okay, so I'm going to... Oh, don't drop it. So I'm going to do four potatoes. Well done, baby. Good job. You get up there for me. Fantastic work, guys. Boom. Okay, we're going to stick this on. And uh, I'm also going to stick on the macaroni as well. And I'll let you know when we make the cheese sauce. We put a carrot in with the potatoes because I thought it'd be good for the babies to have a bit of carrot in their system. And then because the baby saw the carrots, the babies wanted to eat some carrot. Also, with that in mind, I only had half my smoothie because these little gut buckets thoroughly enjoyed the rest, which is brilliant. So for the veggies this evening, I'm going to be doing some crispy courgettes because I've highly missed them. Um, and I'm also going to be doing some broccoli. Please may there not be bugs in this broccoli because that would be really sad. I do have frozen broccoli and, and uh, cauliflower as a backup, but I'm hoping these ones work because it's really nice when it's fresh. So let's see, let's see how it goes. For those of you who are new, I do my crispy courgettes with garlic salt and nutritional yeast. Okay, and then into the air fryer for about 15 minutes, kind of giving it a little bit of a toss halfway through. Okay, now for the stretchy, cheesy um, sauce. Okay, so obviously I've got some potatoes. Again, I did a carrot because I wanted to get some carrots into my babies and also thought I might give it a cool kind of color. So I'm just gonna chuck the carrots in. Some of these potatoes are just for the babies to eat in general. Snaky carrot. Okay, so I'm gonna do, it's kind of the same as last time. I'm gonna do like a cup of potatoes. Actually, hold on, maybe let's do more. Let's do like two cups of potatoes. I'll leave that for the babies. Then, so I cooked up a tiny amount of rice. I'm gonna go in with about a cup of rice, cooked rice, any kind will do. Um, last time I think I used sushi rice, so I'll be interesting to see what this one's like. Let's have a little taste. Oh, rice is just amazing. I'm gonna go in with three tablespoons of nutritional yeast. I'm gonna go in with two teaspoons of garlic salt. teaspoon of onion powder oh gosh okay I guess it's two teaspoons of onion powder going with four teaspoons of apple cider vinegar so you guys know I did lactic acid last time and that gave it a really nice cheesiness so I'm gonna go in this is a double batch I'm gonna go in with two little teaspoons of lactic acid six tablespoons of tapioca starch now this is gonna give it that lovely stretchy kind of consistency that we're gonna want I think we're, we're gonna want that. It's that I want. We're making the cheesy sauce, yo. Oh, um, I didn't know. I know. Oh. I'm so excited. Try to hold this for me. Yeah. Then we're gonna go in with a cup and a half of soy milk. So that's half a cup. So how many more do we need, Abe? Uh, two. Oh, good job, sweet pea. Okay, so that is the cheesy sauce kind of consistency we have going on. Now I'm just gonna heat this up in a massive pan. Okay, so have a look at this. We've got stringy, stretchy, cheesy goodness. Okay, we added a touch of paprika and we're ready to rumble. Excited about this bit. Have a look at this cheese sauce, guys. Oh, look at that stretchy. Oh my gosh, stretchy goodness, right. I think let's try that to start with. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh wow, that's so gooey. Oh my gosh, I'm getting steamed up over here. Yeah, more, yeah. More, 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 more cheese sauce. More, 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 all right, all right, all right. I don't know if you can see, but this stuff is actually 
incredible. Look at that cheesy, oh, that cheesy goodness. Okay, so let's plate up now. We're going in with a lot, a lot of broccoli. Do this sauce? Yeah. In that cheesy broccoli pasta bake? Oh my God, that would be amazing. Oh my Jesus, right. Yes, we need to do that. Rami, what do you think? Too much? Is it nice? Are you shoving it in your face? Yeah. Be careful, sweet pea. Whoa, you nearly finished. Oh, amazing. Do you think we should sit at the table like real humans? Wow. Or are we just gonna scrounge? And crispy courgettes. <laughs> so there we go. Mac and cheese, low calorie density, starch solution style. I tell you what, this stuff is really, is really quite something. Oh my God, that's amazing. So what I'm gonna do, mm, I'm not gonna eat the veggies separately from the pasta, although I could do that. And that probably would be the best thing to do um, so that you can really listen to your hunger fullness shoes properly. However, I want everything to taste like the pasta. So I'm going to mix it into a big bowl, smudge it all together so it's all got the creamy, cheesy sauce. Then I'm going to eat it because it's going to make me feel like I've got a massive bowl of pasta as opposed to loads of veggies and some pasta, if that makes sense. Here we go. I'm just going to show you because it's going to get messy. Oh. Oh guys, I'm excited. Look, let me mix it all together. Look at that, look at that. Let me know if you guys would eat it all separately or like me, would just smudge it all together so it's a massive mess. Mm. Mm. Oh, amazing. Hello, hello. Oh my gosh, it's so bright in here. I've just been in a dark room. Um, <clears throat> so I thought I'd just give you guys a quick little update. So I just wasn't super, super hungry. Um, and so I've kind of left a really good chunk of my dinner. Um, but uh, that's all right. You've got to try and listen to what your body is saying. You don't need to eat all the food on your plate just because it's on your plate. Um, and what I did when I was eating my pasta... Um, which is something that I do try and do in some meals, a lot of meals, is I really try and prioritise, obviously, eating the non-starchy veg portion first. You guys know I mixed it all in together, um, but I still tried to eat my broccoli, my courgettes first, making sure that I was full with all my veggies and then moved on to my starch. And that's when I realised I was full, so I'm glad I did it that way around. If I'd eaten all my starches first, then moved on to my veggies, I wouldn't want my veggies, so that just doesn't make any sense. Um... Also, I was just editing this video and I realised I didn't show you the meal plan uh, that we've got for this week. So I thought I'd quickly give you a little peek at it because this is what we were working on earlier. So um, it's been a, just a crazy day. Um, like sometimes it's hard when I've got everyone at home to like actually use my brain and follow through with the things that I say I'm going to do during the videos. So I am sorry. <laughs> um, right, so obviously we had mac and cheese today. Tomorrow, a, firstly, A broke all of this and isn't that beautiful? I was just so proud of it. And this one especially. It's just, it's so lovely. Okay, I wrote those two, but anyway. Um, so tomorrow, they wrote butt butt stew because Romy calls peanut butter butt butt, which is very cute. So we're having a peanut butter, an African peanut butter stew. I'm obviously going to use PB2. Might sprinkle some peanuts on the top, but I'm very excited about that. James is going to die for that one. Then I really wanted to make some gnocchi. And I thought that'd be a fun activity either tomorrow with the kids or with Romy just on Monday. Um, then I wanted to do a really quick lentil soup on Tuesday. You guys know Tuesdays are really busy because they go swimming. So I thought a nice um, like Arabic lentil soup. I'm not quite sure what it's called, but I used to have it loads um, when we lived in Dubai and I really, really love it. Um, then um, Wednesday, I'm going to do a lovely uh, Southwest quinoa salad. I thought that would be really fun. Uh, Thursday we're going to have spinach falafel wraps. I'm going to be making some wraps out of some beans or grains or something. Um, and I'm going to just do lovely spinach uh, falafels in there. And then finally on Friday we're going to have some minestrone. But we may mix that up depending on how we're feeling. So that is a little meal plan for you guys. Um, obviously lunches tend to be leftovers from the day before a lot of the time. Or just random bits like just, you know, 
a sweet potato and some broccoli, uh, random bits thrown together. Oh yes, I also wanted to uh, chat about the cost of our shop earlier because I said it was meant to be a budgety shop and it didn't end up being quite as budgety as I would have liked. I think it was pretty decent. It was £130 in total, but we did have to buy other bits. Um, James likes to have scotch every now and again, so that was a bit of an expense and the washing powder and stuff. So probably would have come to about £100, which is probably like our average shop. I don't know how to, <laughs> I don't know how to make it any less without everyone else suffering. I, I want everyone to, obviously I want to spend less on groceries, but I want to make sure everyone also has loads of fruits and veggies in the week. I mean, I could go like full austerity and everyone just has like super basic stuff, but I don't want to do that to my babies. I, I would, obviously would if I needed to. Um, and, it's, and it's perfectly fine if you do that for a while, you know, obviously they're fine. Um, kids can, you know, eat basic just like we can for a period of time but they love their fruit so 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 much and I just don't want to sacrifice that for them if I don't really need to um so anyway it's about 100 pounds not as budget as I would like but I was thinking in terms of doing like a special budget meal plan or something what I might do is I might just do one for myself separately because I don't really want the babies to have to worry about not having fruit and stuff but I don't mind uh playing it a little bit cheaper for a week whilst I try out some really cool budget recipes so anyway that could be fun I might try and do that once my brain is settled after the holiday but anyway I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and uh I'm sorry I've been a bit all over the place recently but I'll be back to normality on Monday properly um but um yeah I hope you guys are still enjoying these little little random videos